Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, Game Director on Jurassic World Evolution 2. I'm here to show you today a closer look at the game, including our realistic dinosaurs, enhanced creativity and deeper management. Jurassic World Evolution 2 is a dinosaur management simulation game that builds upon the success of the first game released in 2018. The game includes new features, content, gameplay mechanics and of course new dinosaurs. I'm Adam Woods and I'm the executive producer working on Jurassic World Evolution 2. We're really looking forward to bringing players an incredible Jurassic World experience. Jurassic World Evolution 2 includes four game modes. In campaign mode, players will experience an original Jurassic story that picks up where Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom left off. They're going to be working alongside iconic characters from the films, voiced by original talent, such as Bryce Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum. We have our Chaos Theory mode, where players will be experiencing different what-if scenarios from various films within the franchise. We have our Sandbox mode that allows players to be fully creative, and a Challenge mode that will test their part-building skills. We now have a variety of locations that the player can experience. Each of these locations have their own unique challenges that the player must face, including their own bespoke weather conditions such as sand and snowstorms. It takes us away from the tropical feeling of Jurassic World Evolution and away from the, the Islands of the Five Deaths and kind of really opens up into more of a Jurassic world. I'm Jim Stimson and I'm lead designer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. We've expanded the range of dinosaurs that we've got in the game now. So while we've got land dinosaurs, we have also included flying and marine reptiles too. We've got more behaviors and interactions uh, between dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2. We've added these in to bring an extra layer of realism and authenticity to our dinosaur behavior. We've been working really hard on improving the hunting and fighting system so they're more dynamic. We have group attacks now, so packs of velociraptors will attack their prey. We've also been adding more depth to their social and environmental behaviors, so they'll now interact with the world around them in a more authentic way. Dinosaur creation and research tasks are now handled by a new staff member, the scientist. They're gonna be part of all aspects of dinosaur creation from the very beginning to the very end. As part of the creation process, the players will be manipulating the dinosaur DNA to increase or decrease the chance of traits appearing when the dinosaur's alive. And one of these traits might be being more resilient to disease. With your scientists, you need to be really careful how you manage them. Each time you assign them a task, they get a little bit of stress. If you don't rest them, then you risk them getting burnt out. And then if they do become burnt out and then you assign them another task, then there is an increased risk of sabotage. We've also added a new territory system. So our dinosaurs will dynamically create this territory depending on the different things in the enclosures that it might need as part of its environmental requirements. Dinosaur territory can overlap as well. With some dinosaurs that's going to be fine because we've got cohabitation, so some dinosaurs are happy to live with others. Sometimes as well, they don't like other species of dinosaurs. And when that happens, dinosaurs can fight and the winner gets to keep the territory uh, and the loser will go and have to rebuild their territory and find the things that it needs elsewhere. We no longer have herbivore feeders in Jurassic World Evolution 2. What we've replaced it with is, is paleobotany. We've reimagined prehistoric plants that the player must utilize to feed their herbivores within their territories. Each dinosaur will want different things, so it allows you to create a bespoke enclosure for your dinosaurs. If it's just one species in there, then, then it's very easy to create that. But if you have two or more, then there becomes more of a, of a puzzle element there to, to creating this, this wonderfully unique enclosure for these, these different dinosaur species to, to live in. We've also introduced new guest interest groups in the parks as well. So the different types of guests will want to see different things in your parks. So we have general, we have adventure, we have nature and luxury. Around the enclosure of a big carnivore, you will have lots of adventure guests. So when you place down uh, an amenity, you can tailor that to be more interesting to your adventure guests. And by doing that, you're going to make more money. Alongside the deeper management that the guest interest groups will bring, the players will have an opportunity to customise the look and feel of these guest buildings. We've got a modular system that will change some of the models on it. You'll be able to change the colour palette so you can make it feel very unique. Within the new environments, players now have a range of natural scenery items and surface textures that they can use to further customise their parks. Alongside the different ways the players can change the appearance of their parks and their environments, we've also been looking in the ways the player can change the appearance of their dinosaurs. What we've added in game is very complementary to the different environments, but as a player, you know, we're going to leave it up to you. You're going to be able to do what you want to do and have the dinosaurs look the way you want them to look. 
Players should be really excited about using all of the different creativity tools and kind of building their own fully realized Jurassic world however they want. I'm really excited for the players to get their hands on the new management that we've added into the game. Things like the scientists, the guest types, it really changes how the game plays and I really can't wait to see what they do with it. I really can't wait to see the players' reactions to the new dinosaurs. The new behaviours and interactions, I think, bring the dinosaurs to life better than ever before. We hope you've enjoyed this deeper look into Jurassic World Evolution 2 and we're thrilled to be showing you even more over the next few weeks and months.